Hi. I grew up in a non-believing family. In fact, I had a pretty awful childhood. My mum and dad were always fighting and arguing. It was a daily thing. Afterwards, my dad would go to the pub and get drunk. So when he came home, it would all start over again. I remember sitting in my room crying. In the end, they divorced. So I only saw my dad a few minutes every day before he would go to the pub. Soon after, sorry. Soon after that, they divorced. My mum married my stepdad and my life changed for the worse. When I was 13 years old, my dad died. After that, I was out of control. So I went, I was sent to a boarding school. I hated God for everything that, he'd, that had happened in my life. Later in life, I got married twice, had children. Both my marriages broke down and ended in divorce. About a year ago, I started to have this pulling feeling. It was weak at first, then as the days and weeks went by, it became stronger. It was God pulling me towards him. I stood in the middle of my dining room and I asked Jesus in a prayer to forgive my sins and come into my life. I have now given my life and soul to God. He made me in his own image and that is a beautiful thing. He has done not just for me but for everyone and every living thing on earth. My whole life has now changed. I have no depression, no thoughts of taking my own life. That's how it was before God came into my life. Every day seems to provide me with joy and a reason to get up in the morning. A few weeks ago, I was in terrible pain in my back. I was using crutches. We had a prayer meeting and we decided to say a prayer for my back, for my pain in my back. Jess and Jen laid their hands on me and within minutes the pain had gone. I have now been pain free for weeks. Life is so beautiful now. I always feel a warm glow inside and I feel safe knowing that God is watching over me. I do have one regret. I wish I brought God into my life sooner. She's enabled these two doors up for quite a few years now. She's had that back problem for years, and so it's incredible. The Lord has healed her. Still no crutches, that's fantastic. But he heals on the outside and he heals on the inside, and her heart has been healed and her life has been saved for eternity. And it's just starting now as well. It's, you know, the rest of her life is, is different because of meeting with Jesus and the power of his salvation. Now, Grenville's going to come and speak and to us about this message. 